the folks that we are going to extinction. We're going to spawn in on Sanctuary Southeast. Recommended. Let's do it. I pushed the button. Should be doing it anytime now. <laughs> um, You've reached the end of oh. your path, Survivor. Just as Helena Walker once did. It is here way. that she and her allies faced their final battles. It's up to you to make sure their sacrifices weren't in vain. The alien element that ended our world has willed a titanic adversary into being. To rule in the ruins. Find a way to dethrone that king. And you'll clear the way for me to call down the arts. Enabling nature to be receded. Humanity and Earth's many creatures. And evolution itself can be restored. Helena Walker wanted it so. No. I wanted it. I may be the one who waits. But I'm still Helena too. I remember everything now. The struggles I faced. The losses I felt. And the love that I found. I can see the world through my own eyes again. And Survivor? I'm certain of one thing now. You got this, mate. Oh. That's new. <laughs> it was actually a map specific too. It wasn't just like a generic thing. There was the Titan. The last there. Oh. Extinction, folks. It's been a while since I've been to Extinction. Big time. So we spawned in the city, which is the sanctuary. It's not too crazy. We try to get ourselves to a terminal and pull our stuff out. So the big difference between being on official and being on offline transferring stuff is that you can't have anything on you, but there's no timer. But you can only put like 20 items in there as well. You can't do 50. But uh, I guess it's a good trade for the not being able to uh, have a timer, is, which is nice. Okay, where are we right now? We're here. I think we're too low. We don't need to go that way. Or maybe there's one. Oh, we're, we're down here. Okay, we want to get up top a bit higher. There's a way up over here, someplace. It's been a moment. There's beavers down there. We want to get up on that cliff there. Up top there. Pretty sure that's the closest place to go. And this looks like the way to go here. Maybe we'll see a terminal along the way. So we'll go and get that stuff. Then we'll be heading off to the sunken forest, folks. Find us some gotchas. All oh, right, there's uh, meteor showers on this map. <laughs> it's been a while. I like this map a lot, but uh, put, playing it on official, we used to have a base there a long time ago. It was pretty good. Um, but. Uh, you can, you can barely play it a lot of the time. Is how broken it is. Can I get up here? No. They're building something. But, uh, I like this map. You know? There's, uh, maybe we can get ourselves an enforcer or something. Once we get our dinos. Yeah, we can't vault over things. Okay, this is not the way up. Obviously. <laughs> is that a terminal over there? Maybe? No? Let's go over here. Maybe something. Uh, since we're here, we've got the Dodicarus. We can go and get some uh, element dust. I know whether there's some tables. We can get the, the, the tables are the best things. And since we have the whole map to ourselves, nobody will be blocking the spawns, which would be glorious. Now, there's got to be a terminal around here somewhere. So far, nothing's ripped their face off, which is good. It should be fairly. There's an enforcer right there. I think they only aggro on you if you piss it off. Pretty sure they don't just... Oh, compy. Damn you, compy. Cool looking, though. That'd be cool at the base, having this guy wander around. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this guy's not going to aggro on us. If he does, it's not a big deal. Let me get his level here. 
It's a high level, that'd be cool. Level 5. Can shiz that. It might be like an amazing blueprint, though. You kill him, and you get the blueprint to be able to build it again. And see as how we got the the loot up to 100, it uh, might be actually worth getting, you know. Probably not level 5, but like, you know, an enforcer in, in, in general. Because they're, they're relatively useless, the, <laughs> the enforcers. I think they can climb walls or something, and they can they can dash, teleport or whatever. But they're they're not very like suitable for combat too much. All right, hopefully this whole episode isn't just me looking for a terminal. <laughs> I should have just went to where I was going to go in the first place up in, up in the city there. We're down below though. There's a bridge is over here. We're in the big city, folks. We're dying of thirst. Actually, we're walking in water. We just drink it. Oh yeah. Right, there's got to be a terminal. Some place. Try to recognize the area a bit too, so I can kind of get my bearings of where we're at. I'm kind of going in the direction where I think there may be a terminal. You know. <laughs> Over here looks promising. We get up top. There's, there's like a, a ramp and stuff that goes up top. And amongst the buildings. There's a spot where I used to have a base. I recognize that area. Once we get into the area, we'll be good too. There's an interesting area. A bit of a map tour in the city, you know? It's working. Hopefully, we don't run into any enforcers or like the the drone unit things that'll destroy us. Now we're getting to the other side here. This blue over here looks kind of promising. <laughs> Probably should have went and found one before I started recording. <laughs> not a big deal. Not a big deal. Right, there's not gonna be one over here. We get up central, there's actually like there, there. There's an obelisk out in the distance, distance it looks like. So we're getting back up there. Into familiar territory. Ish. Oh, I should have jumped off that. God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna go up this bridge. I believe. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be an adventure, folks. Right now we're going to go get our stuff. Then we're going to go find us some uh, gotchas and tame them up. I think we, we can get five of them. I brought five uh, uh, cryopods I was able to bring with us that are empty. Ooh, there's an explorer node over there. That's handy. Look at that. This doesn't matter. This guy's kind of maxed out. Well, I think he needs to level up more, this dude, because he's not max level. And I'm not get, gaining any more XP at the second. Maybe I'll save that for later. I get too close to the little trigger. It'll give you the stuff. Let's save that for later. What's, we, we need to be able to. I think we need to like destroy some more alphas with the chibi to be able to get more. Or, or we have to go over to uh, Theodore and get the Bruins. And there's like a hundred of those. And you get another five levels. And then the two hundred. You get another five levels or something like that. Ah, there we are. No, damn it. It's the glowing rock. Right, well, let's see here. It's going outside the city. Is there not a terminal right by the city here? Limits? Thought there was. Depends on which one we're at. And there's a scout. There's little scout things. That's cool. Whoa, there's a shit little birds. Never seen that before. That's cool. Alright, there's gotta be a time with the transmitter over here somewhere. Stay away from those things. They will rip your face off, most of the time. Keep your eyes peeled, folks. Okay, there's the pink zone. We go that way. I know there's a spot there's a, where, where the base was. By the swamp, there's uh, terminals. But I believe there might be one over here by this door, too, by the outskirts. This is the outskirts going out into the Badlands. Yeah. Get the one that's closer, it'd be nice. Now we're getting into dangerous territory. 
Let's check out this enforcer. The level. What you got, buddy? What you got? What is that? 85. Not too shabby. Okay, the pink zone's over here. If we go this way, we'll uh, we'll find one for sure. The beauties of arc, folks. <laughs> Everything takes time to get everything to get stuff done. We're dying of thirst again. So there'll be some water over here, I'm sure. Nice place though. Yeah. Okay, there's an enforcer. Or whatever that thing is. Whatever they call themselves these days. You know? <laughs> Need water though. The low ground, there'd be water down there. We'll find more. Sure. That looks like maybe a terminal off in the distance there. Let's just get some water. Get in the water. Can we drink this water? There we go. Now we're good. Let's get our stand back up. Let's see this dude's level too. Level 10. Come on, get the stand back. Oh, so I had it in sprint. If you don't sprint and uh, keep moving, you'll, your stamina will still come back up. Yeah, there's a terminal right there. Beyond this Megatherium, finally, after all these years. What's your level, buddy? Are you going to aggro on me and destroy me just as we found the terminal? No. Level 40. It'd be handy for getting chidden. Big time. Let's get over here and get our stuff. And then we can start the arduous task of getting all the way the hell over there. You know? The data. Oh crap. Okay, this is bad. Let's get this. Let's not die quickly. Go down. Mount it. Mount it. Mount it. Come on. Mount it. Are you kill it? Thank you. Thank you. That's why you keep your stuff in. In, uh. Neutral, on well, neutral. If he was on passive, we'd be screwed. See, we almost died. Jesus. All right, you, you just you just keep shit the way you keep shit. <laughs> Let's get our stuff so we can survive here. We got this meat. And our water thing for now. Go ahead and eat some of this meat. We'll bring our health up as long as we're hungry. While we eat it, that's why you eat a bunch of it. I don't want to eat it all. You know, the taming medium. See how fast it is? It just clicks right over there. Not a big deal. You get all their stuff. But uh, you can only put so much stuff in here. I think it's like, uh, it says 60, but I think it's only 20. You get all the stuff here. And we'll head, head our way out to where we're going. Cool. It's done. Let's get a wyvern out. So we got the. Uh, Protection. Throw him down. Pick this guy back up. Then get the stone for uh, doing stuff. So I guess we, we could have made structures because you can feed them structures too, and that uh, that works as well. But uh, this, this is fine. Let's get on here so we're not getting aggroed on. And we'll get our armor going here. Go, got our cowboy hat, get our boots going, get our hot bar back in order here. Do, do, do. Throw the scope, scope down. This parachutes, just in case, you know. <laughs> Used to have a, a bad uh, experience with the with uh, this map a lot, but on official, it would uh, crash a lot, and you would usually be flying when that happens. And uh, you'd come back on and you'd fall to your death. 
So if you didn't have a parachute and pulled it at the at the right time, you'd be screwed. You know, <laughs> let's get up in the air. Now you don't want to fly too high in this place because there is a, there is a kill zone over top of the place. It's too high. If you get like way high into the into the um into the sky above all these buildings and stuff too high, it'll kill your team. And there's also a boundary on this place as well that uh, will also kill your team if you go outside the boundaries, which is kind of crazy. So we gotta be careful, mindful for that. And let's see if we can rem if I can remember how to get back there to that place, the sunken forest. Okay, I didn't need that mode. Yeah, we're going in the right direction. We need to go that way. And there's an entrance. Okay, so we're going in the right direction. It's excellent. Let's rock. Yeah. Mostly recognize the jagged rocks. I suppose we have to go this way. Past this huge spot here. And the, the, there's a big hole in the ground. That'll be our way. We've got to watch Stam, though. This is just a low-level wyvern, nothing too crazy. But it'll be good enough to get this mission done, I'm sure. Oh yeah. I guess it's about to get back out, we're gonna have to go find a terminal too, to be able to get back to base. After all this is said and done. We're gonna land here. Every opportunity you get, go ahead and land and get that stamp up, because you never know what you're gonna run into along the way. The freezing of the game is normal. <laughs> Is entering a different zone. It's gonna render a bunch of crap. Look at that stam up. Doing well. This guy needs meat on him. I don't really have much in the way of meat. We'll give him this. For now, I'm gonna have to get him something. Because we have the, this stuff, but we don't want to be giving him that. We need that for taming medium. We'll put our flask in our hot bar. We got our stuff ready to go. We got our beds. Good. And so we can put a bit of a plateau down. Over there, yeah, here we are. There's also an explorer note on top of this piece of metal here, too. Oh, yeah. Now, it should be too dangerous around here at the second. Yeah, there's an explorer note right at the peak of here. You can see it right there. I'm not gonna get it right now. Save it for later when we can actually use it. But then you just dive straight down, folks. Straight down. And I think. I can still remember the trail I used to take to be able to get the gotchas and everything. Watch our stamp. I'm gonna go straight down here. And we'll get a spawn point set right up, right away. Down here on this beach here is probably a pretty good spot. Maybe there's beavers in this area. I think this is the same beach. No, this isn't the same beach. It's too dark. It's off this way. But you could see gotchas anywhere. There's one right there. In this area, I was going to say. <laughs> Let's check him out. What's up, buddy? God damn it. Oh, 25. And if you follow them around, they'll eat stuff, and then they'll um, drop crystals, and then that's how you can tell what type of gotcha it is. Oh yeah. It's kind of on this cliffside. I'm just kind of, I wonder if we can pick them up with the wyvern. I wonder if that's a thing. I wonder if it'll aggro them too. Ooh, that was the wrong button. That was definitely the wrong button. <laughs> no, we can't pick them up. Can't pick up a gotcha when he's not tamed. I don't think he can pick him up when he is tamed either. But he'll drop a crystal here. And we'll be able to see what type he is. And him here is kind of a bit. We kind of want to go after high, the highest levels we can find. This is the first one we've seen so far. So we'll let him be. We gotta get a, a, something down here. There's a bit of a bright area here, I guess. Over here's not bad. I'm just gonna get our bearings here of where we're at. Exactly. Okay. There's Zeno. It's not there, Zeno. Iguanodon, that is. Like those. 
up here on this plateau, you even see them too. This is a, it's weird being here with that, without like copious amounts of bases everywhere. You know? Mm. Via just says, yes. They fly around somewhere where there's, this is the beach here. This is the spot where the beavers are. And there's a rapture right there. You know, rip its face off. Some fish. This guy needs some, uh, needs some food anyway. You know, there we go. Get the dodo too, as well. And he's got some food. What's up with these fish? <laughs> Just chilling. All right, so there's there's you know over there. There's the beavers. Good spot for beavers. Yeah. Okay, so now I kind of know where we're at. Attack Parasaur. I believe if we go this way, we will find the Gotcha. There's one right there. They, they spawn here too. There's, there's a bunch of areas. There's another one down the way. No, it's, it's Anki, I think, over there. Maybe. No, that's, that's Gotcha too. I think. Let's take a look at this guy. What are you saying about 130 female? Nice. Oh yeah. Mm. You're great. And so we found where they are. Let's get let's, let's get a, um, a base down. We're gonna tame this one for sure. We might put our base just kind of in between this place, I guess. Because there's another gotcha just over here. These raptors will aggro on the gotcha. We don't want that. Get rid of these guys. And we'll put our base, like, right here, I guess. And between the two, the two of them. What's this guy's level? 45, male. Nice. They might do a, a better uh, type of resource as well, maybe even than the other one. Let's see. If they're mate boosted, it's good. Let's get a base down here. Well, I have a little starter pad down here. I don't want to put it in the wiring. Mm -hmm. Let's get this down. Well, we're going to put it kind of in a flat area. It would be nice. It's fairly flat. It's like right here, I guess. Ish. Let's stick it, let's stick it down. Let's stick it down right here. Kind of close to over here-ish. There we go. Shit. Mm -hmm. Put them all down. Well, let's, let's see what it looks like, anyways. I guess that's it. That's it right there. Apparently, <laughs> this is our pad. Put the beds down, so we have a, a nice spawn point here. Perfect. It's beautiful. Look at it, folks. And all its glory. <laughs> All right, folks, it's been a slice we got here. We got our stuff. We're all situated. For the next episode, we're going to be taming these suckers. So we're going to be using the gotcha, or the... We're going to be using the dodicarus to be able to get the stone to be able to tame these guys up. So we'll see you guys next time.